Let's create YouTube Shorts in Premiere Pro in less than 6.9 minutes. So without further ado, open Premiere Pro, click on new project, name it whatever you want and hit OK. Now open the folder where your video clip is located and simply drag and drop. Just a quick note, this video clip should be in MP4 format so if it's in FLV or MKV you can always remux it through OBS Studio like this. Now once you're done with it, head over to the Premiere Pro and then go to the file, then select the new and then select the sequence. Now in the sequence you need to select the option called Digital SLR, just select that and go to 1080p, just select 1080p and then select DSLR 1080p 30. Now all you need to do is head over to the settings tab. Now as my clip is 60 FPS, I'm gonna put it, uh, the, put the time base to like 59.94 which is basically 60 FPS and what works the best. Now look down a bit and put this value to 1080 and put this value to 1920 which will create a vertical frame. I leave the other settings like that and hit OK. Go! Now as your sequence is ready, head over to your clip and simply drag and drop to the timeline like this. And keep existing settings. That's how you successfully added your clip uh, to the timeline. Now select the clip, head over to the effects control tab and Go to the scale and put the value to 180. Trust me, that works the best. That will fit directly to the frame. Now you can always mess around with the position and scale variable to get your desired look you want. But for me, I'm gonna use 181. Time to chop off your d- Head over to the- <laughs> Head over to this place over here and select the razor tool. You can always press C for the shortcut. Go to the frame where you, where you wanna cut and simply left click. So take your time and chop off the clips off and delete the unnecessary clips over there but I'm gonna speed up my process a bit. Gonna add some text for subtitles, click on the text icon, click on the preview window, type you the subtitles you want, select the subtitles layer, double click on the text, head over to the effects control tab, click on the drop down icon of the text and select that and select your font. Now I'm gonna add some color in the text so select that fill and adjust this arrow to get your color for me i'm gonna be using yellow so boom and okay don't forget to click on the center aligned option now select the text and adjust it according to your need whatever you want i'm gonna speed up my process here you can always mess around with that stroke and shadow settings to give a slight bold touch to a text that's not rocket physics that's pretty easy you can figure it out by yourself now to make the text more attractive i'm gonna be making a text pop-up effect very quickly so to do that select the layer click on this watch go four frames put the value to 120 go three frames put the value 115 look how nicely it pops up nice. Now alt and drag to duplicate the layer so you don't have to make it from scratch every time. For additional dopamine dose, I'll be adding two more presets. You can download these files from the link in the description. Both of them are pretty easy to use. Just simply import, search in effects and drag and drop in the file. Now for RSMB aka motion blur, you have to apply it on an adjustment layer. Now you can mess around with the RSMB settings in effects tab. But for now, leave it like that. That works decent by default. Not going to explain right now because the video will get longer now gonna add some contrast to the color of the clip search for lumetri color and simply drag and drop the effect to the adjustment layer head over to the effects control panel scroll down select curves again scroll down now put three dots here like this and simply stretch them in such a way that that makes an s shaped curve that will add more vibrance and contrast uh, to your clip now in case you don't know how to add adjustment layer it's pretty simple just click on this icon over here select adjustment layer and simply hit ok drag it all the way on the top of the clip and this is your adjustment layer that's it at last gonna add some green screen double click on it i for in point o for out point and simply drag and drop the clip above all the layers as this clip is kind of slow so i just speed up this clip and adjust it to the frame now search for ultra key and drag and drop it on your green screen kind of leveling it to green so i can recognize it later head over to the effects control scroll down select this icon select green now decreasing the opacity a bit because it's looking a bit messy and cluttery at last added some few more memes and chopped some places a bit and finally added some Dome music!
so when you're done press i at the start of the sequence as an in point and press o at the end of the sequence to create an out point now press ctrl plus m to open your render preview window and leave it like that here i'm using normal high bitrate preset by default and simply hit the export button here's what we created Oh my god! Helicopter! Helicopter! Now get the video file in your phone and go to create a short. Browse the video file and upload the video as unlisted. Go to YouTube Studio from your desktop. Hit on edit. Put a nice title with hashtag sorts. Add a little description. Upload your custom thumbnail and add some tags like this and set the category as gaming because it's Valorant and add it as Valorant. Now hit the save button and make it public aka publish the video. Boom! You uploaded your first shots. At the end of this everything I want to say thank you for watching if you're still watching and if you liked it please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are interested in gaming content, also subscribe my second channel. See you in the next video. Till then, good night, good luck. If you have any question, drop me in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as I can. Man, that was a hard video to edit. Compression from 1 hour to 6.9 minutes. Holy shit. Why are you